I swear every time I want to go for a dive in Denmark after work, it's raining. It's only just eased up a little bit now, so I'm gonna jump in here under this bridge and hopefully find a cod. And if there's no cod, I'm gonna try a flatfish. I was here about three months ago, not a lot of fish around, really freezing, but it's actually not too, not too cold today. I've just got a t-shirt on underneath the, the Gore-Tex. You can see there's actually a fair bit of current pushing behind these things here, so I'll have to be careful about where I get to. Probably not gonna be going out too far out here, but might get to this one or this one or maybe that one. See how we go. Just as I said, the weather wasn't too bad. Wind has picked up, rain started again. Time to get dressed into the wetsuit. Get out and find some fish. Also forgot to mention after I hopefully barbecue some fish today, very ambitious. After I barbecue some fish, I'm gonna be drawing the winner of the 50,000 subscriber giveaway that I did for a brand new dive mask. Once again, the beloved sports tube making an appearance on my travels, keep all the gear in this, really easy to check in, and I've never had anything broken in it, surprisingly. Well, not really surprisingly, it's super tough poly stuff. Good for skis, good for snowboards, good for spearfishing equipment. Oh yeah, and that's the mask you can win. Not actually this mask, physically, but the same exact brand of mask. I'll ship you a brand new one. There's actually something in the, in the sky there. I'm not sure what it is. It's kind of shiny and, and yellow. Might be the sun. I didn't really think about keeping my clothes dry while I'm in here. Maybe I'll be able to bury my clothes under a rock or something. <laughs> bury my clothes under a rock or something. This turns out to be one of my less wise decisions I've made in my life. Top layer is pretty murky and dirty. I think that's from raid runoff. Barbie, 13 degrees, 12.8 degrees, which is pretty warm for Denmark, actually. So it's very manageable. I'm gonna have a swim out and see if I can find a cod now. Look for some flatties along the way. Current is gonna rip around here. I soon gave up looking for flatfish and headed straight for the bridge. Here we are at the first little spot. I can actually see light and dark at the bottom here, so visibility's probably improved a bit, which is nice. Let's find some cod. I know it's hard to see, but there's a cod there that just snuck his way over the top of that concrete pylon. I uh, just spooked a nice cod there at about two kilos. Also saw a little pollock down there. There's definitely a few fish around. There was a lot more fish on the lee side of the concrete pylon. This was the craziest, most visible thermocline I have ever seen in my life. The fish going through it looked like a mirage on a hot day. While I was busy looking at the thermocline, I didn't notice this cod until it was too late.
I moved to the next pylon in hopes of finding some fish that hadn't been disturbed by my presence. It was becoming more apparent that I would need to use a torch and look in the holes if I wanted to get a cod today. Just saw a nice cod chill out on the bottom there, and then it just disappeared up this hole. Couldn't see it, but got the torch, so I'm gonna have to start looking in the holes a bit more, I think. Hopefully they're hitting in the holes out of the current. That thing just Ah, I sort of saw it, didn't really know what to make of it, and then into a hole, never to be seen again. One thing diving in Italy has taught me is to scour holes with a torch very thoroughly. Shot the torch on, saw the tail. Got as far in as I could. Not quite up near the head where I wanted to. Bit of a chase on the bottom because these things are pretty easy to tear out, especially with a small flopper like I'm using on this little gun. But might be a bit big for the barbecue, so I'll probably have to knock a fillet off and take some back to England, actually. Hooray for the EU, hey? Bollocks to Brexit! One thing I have learnt from taking big fish on a shore dive is not to simply string the fish with the T-bar through the gills and out the mouth like you traditionally would. If you bring the T-bar back to the float and clip it on there, it keeps the fish much more streamlined, stops it spinning, and it is far easier to tow back in. Man, this really doesn't help the barbecue situation. Oh well, at least I got a cod. I think I've got this fish here. Maybe I'll see if I can barbecue the wings and take the trunk of it home to England. It's probably the best bet. It's just too much for me to eat now. Not bad size cod. I did most of the gutting with my shot. So somehow, not somehow, very obviously, I managed to push one of my bloody shoes down the rocks there. I just spent 15 minutes trying to locate it, working out how the hell I'm gonna get back to London with one shoe without buying another one. Searching all these blocks. Torch came in handy and I can see it, but Bugger knows how the hell I'm gonna get it out. I can see it, I might try and get it with a spear gun. Oh, unless I can move some of these rocks, but check this out. Down there. Oh. Bring it out. I managed to beast mode this guy out of the way. I can see a pretty good view my shoe there. Oh, it's even got the sock in it still. <sighs> now, if I can just hook that on the flopper, on the spear gun, we good. I'm gonna take the band off first, might make it a bit easier. I 
this is a way to get in the other side. Doesn't help that I'm catching a plane in like four hours. Okay. I got it. It's very wet. At least the rain stopped. Look at our trusty little barbecue here. I'm gonna do these cod wings and while they're cooking, I'm gonna do that draw for the giveaway for the mask. These little things actually work really, really good. Cod wings. There's one cod wing. Kind of shot him through that side, so that one's not the best intact, but it's got lots of meat on it. There's the other one. So then I'm just gonna take the trunk out and ice that down and take that back so I can uh, eat it another time. There's our cod trunk there. Ice him down, take that back to England. A good tip for taking fish home on short trips like this is when you wrap it up in the ice and cool it down, you can use your wetsuit and kind of make it like a little bit of a, a wetsuit, wetsuit esky bag thing. That's what I've done in the past when I take frozen fillets home, but it's not a really long journey home, about four hours by the time I'll be from airport to door. So that fish is gonna be delicious. Oh yeah. Right, well those things are cooking away. Let's draw this mask winner. Thanks for everyone that entered this giveaway. There was just a huge amount of comments on this photo to win that mask. Really appreciate everyone entering the competition and following me on Instagram. I could not pick a single comment just to pick and do it that way because I think it was a bit unfair. So I'm using a random winner picker, comment picker generator thingy on the internet. So here we go. The random winner for the mask is... Riley Young, Yay! shoot me a DM and I will get a mask out to you ASAP. Thanks everyone for participating. There'll be more giveaways in the future. I think I better get back to the fish wings. All right, they're looking all right. Probably just gonna flip them over, get the other side going, but they're cooking up pretty nice on this little thing. Oh. Oh, look at that. Probably don't even need to flip these things. It's a nice little morsel. Look at that. It's like a blinking scallop. Oh, how good is that? Oh, hot. Mmm. 6.30, my flight's at 10. Should probably consider getting going. I'm gonna wait for these to cook a little bit more, polish these off, punch it back to the airport and try and show you that bridge on the way out. Three hours before my flight, have a two hour drive, have to pack all my kit. I can make it, surely. Definitely worth it. All right, I'm gonna show you this massive bridge now as well. This is pretty cool, so stick around for this. If you don't think that bridge is cool, I think it's pretty cool. And I did make it back to the airport on time. I just gotta pack up that sport tube now and stick that fish in it and try and keep under 20 kilos thanks to Ryanair. So if not, I'm gonna try and take some of my weights as carry on and hopefully they don't get taken off me. But I've got plenty more stuff coming from Australia, guys. Some really, really cool stuff from Moreton Island actually. So stay tuned for that. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you are. And I'll see you on the next one.